What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming and we are here on raid day. I'm trying to get you guys these raid guides as soon as possible. I'm going to start from the back and I'm going to make my way up to the beginning of the raid. I'm going to tell you guys exactly where the SIVA clusters are in the raid. We already found them. Here we are in the raid boss. I think the name is Axis part one in the perfection complex now over here you want to get your team to split up into three so two on the left two in the middle two on the right i mean three teams of two all right you want to make sure that one person has a sword all right uh the uh just get your most powerful sword that you possibly can uh gallowhorn is also a good addition but the sword just kills these captains that come out super super fast now when you kill those captains they have scorch cannons they have well not only scorch cannons they have the arc and void as well then you have servitors that come out it's going to correspond exactly void arc and solar you want to make sure you use the right cannon for the right servitor you want to call it out after you kill the servitor there's going to be these balls that drop and you just saw me a little bit ago pick up that ball and shoot it on the locations the first wave you just have to hit two spots the second wave you're going to have to hit three and the uh, third wave, you're going to have to hit multiple. There's going to be, a, I think, about four or five. Um, you guys can see the video and you'll see. But in that later on wave, you're going to have multiple servitors of the same type come out. So it'll be like two void servitors or two arc servitors or whatever. Um, in between each round, you have these shanks that come up from up top. Our strategy that we use is just to put tethers up there. We had an uh, excess amount of hunters on our team. I definitely recommend a better raid build than what we had guys. Um, the go-to one is two hunters, two titans, two warlocks. I think it it's pretty much works out for everyone. But you definitely don't want to have a team stacked with hunters. Um, it's good with the tether, but honestly, um, you really do need titans. And if warlocks die, you can self-rest too, which is always good. Uh, which will also help for the hard mode raid. Now I'm going to come up with all these strategies, guides, and cheeses for you guys. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that like button. Share this video with your friends who are still stuck on this part. I would recommend watching the video and ensuring that you understand and assign roles. So that way you guys don't waste time, right? Let the people like us and the other great teams that went out and did this raid in the beginning. Let them make the mistakes. Let them figure out what to do. So that way you guys can save a lot of your life. Save a lot of frustration. And as you guys see, there's even more. Now there's three. I don't know what you want to call them. But you just shoot the freaking balls that come out of the servitor. And you hit them directly. If you miss, you messed up. So make sure you don't miss. Um, the first one, one person can miss because there's only two. I still don't understand what the third ball is for. Uh, maybe one of you guys can let us know in the comments below. Uh, but this is just the Raid Boss Part 1. Part 2 I'm going to be coming out with. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys so much for the support. Remember everything in the description below. We're going to help with Trials of Osiris. We're going to help with the raid. Everything that you guys can possibly need help with. We help with. So make sure you guys check out the description below. And then that way we'll see you guys in stream. Come say what's up. We have a face cam. You know, the stream's looking really crispy and nice. Um, but anyways guys. Um, just trying to grow the family, so hope to see you guys there. Peace!